Hey, Troy Matthews from Refrigeration Mentor. I had the opportunity to hang out with Copeland during the 2024 AHR Expo. They're one of the leading names in the refrigeration industry, and I had the opportunity to see some of their latest refrigeration products, as well as some of their signature brand. And we're going to take an in-depth look at the top nine cutting-edge innovations that I've seen during the Expo. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest refrigeration technologies. Number nine, Copeland's 3D Semi-Hermetic Compressor Cutaway. As you can see, the piston comes down, these little holes right here draw in the suction, pulling down the suction reed, and then as it starts to come up, pushes up through the discus port, out through the discharge port. Super cool, this is a, a digital model, which is, man, I, I love looking at these because these are great capacity control compressors. If you're ever working on rack applications, Really, this is one a really good option. I've seen lots of times when you add a digital compressor to the rack, it really smoothens out that suction and really gets that customer the energy advantage they're looking for. Number eight, Copeland's CO2 pressure relief safety device. This is a pressure relief on the high side of the compressor. It's 135 bar. Wow. So normally a system will be operating to around 110 or 120. But on these compressors, we put 135 bar pressure relief to make sure that everything's safe. I mean, these compressors are burst tested to five times that, so almost wow. 10,000 pounds. Wow. So there's a lot of pressure resiliency built into the semi-hermetic product yeah, for I... safety of everybody involved. Number seven, an inside look at Copeland Scroll Compressor. The magic sauce is in our scroll set here. So when we machine this together, very tight tolerances and they're they're married set all the time so when this is working we're taking the rotation of the motor into an orbiting motion and we're just orbiting the bottom scroll set here to press pressurize and do the compression process and then it discharges out the top and you can see our floating seal here makes a seal with our muffler plate on the bottom of our muffler plate. And our compressor, when it shuts off, that floating seal will go down, and now it, the pressures equalize inside of the compressor, so it's easier to start. So we don't need any starting components or anything like that. Number six, Copeland's Connect Plus system. What our Connect Plus solution will provide you as an end user, typically, is, is the cloud monitoring of your case temperatures and status within your systems, where it be refrigeration, HVAC, or lighting. And like you said, it, it really uh, comes into a view for that end user to be able to capture all their stores or all their locations into one view on the internet for them. Number five, Copeland's CoreSense protection device with discharge temperature protection. So the CoreSense has been part of our compressor semi-hermetic line for, for a long time and on the CO2 compressor there certainly is and it really is a protection device that built in motor protection. You talk about discharge temperatures and excessive of heat so we've got that protection along with a lot of other features and the beauty of this particular core sense device is through Modbus communication can communicate up to our BMS system the yeah. E3 and let the service technician know exactly what's happening why the compressor's off and know where to start from. Number four, Copeland CC200 case controller. The new Copeland CC200 case controller. But what, what that does for, for our installation base is, at least with the OEMs, very easy to install at the case level. Um, Color-coded sensors to make sure that the right sensors are landed in the right places. Takes that uh, extra step in the startup away from you to have to troubleshoot sensor issues, right? Yeah. And then out in the field, the contractors have the ability to connect to the CC200 via a Bluetooth app on their smartphone yeah. or device. Uh, get a very powerful tool now that's in their pocket, right? Um, not having to go back between the machine room and the display case, you do all that troubleshooting right at the case. Number three, Copeland's E3 solution for CO2 applications. You'll get a view on our E3 solution, which yeah. helps us navigate through a store layout. Uh, very intuitive display. So. You know, right here we have a, a store layout displaying showcases. Yeah, uh, that's everything that's going on in this booth right now, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, we have the ability to add multiple floor plans. So, you know, 
something awesome. similar to this, a, a, a full store layout giving you some a little bit of color uh, status for the cases and things like that. And then also a drill down straight into the case, right? And, we, and that pairs well with our CC200 and all of our CO2 solutions that come into the E3. Yeah. Very easy to navigate and make that CO2 system le less uh, complicated for the service technician. Number two, Copeland's largest displacement CO2 compressor that has an oil pump. The largest displacement compressor that we have, we have actually three of them, the, the 4MTLS 20, 22, and a 28. And you mentioned because we've got a flinger, because it, the larger compressors, larger crankshafts need positive oil movement through that crankshaft and get it to, to lubricate all of those large bearing surfaces. So that's why the large displacements have to have it. Number one, Copeland's 4MTLS CO2 transcritical compressor. So this is our full Copeland 4MTLS 28, about 300,000 BTUs. Woo! Okay, now you've probably seen the smaller versions out before the cutaways, which did not have an oil pump. This guy yeah. has an oil pump, but the smaller models don't. So if you come down to the booth, let's talk about the differences between the oil pump model, large capacity displaced, and the smaller ones. And let's talk about some of the features, advantages, and benefits of using CO2 in commercial refrigeration. Because a lot of trends is moving, and you've talked about this before. Yeah. Well, let's have some conversations around yeah. what's causing end users to go that way. Yeah. We all know Copeland is at the forefront of innovation in the refrigeration industry. And I would love to hear your thoughts on some of these new products and some of their signature brand. Let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And stay tuned for more updates from Refrigeration Mentor. And as always, let's get a conversation going. Thank you.